my family had always played baseball. Um, I mean, I picked up a baseball since, you know, when I was like two. You use your glove to catch the ball and the glove is made out of leather and the glove requires maintenance and it's sort of this object of devotion. Like you have to every single night oil it and continue to form it over the years so that it keeps working for you, which is sort of, it's a great lesson to learn for anything. If you want something to work really well for you, you have to continue to care and nurture for it, just like any relationship or life in general, business, whatever it may be. That sort of lesson always, you know, it just permeates my life. But I think the founding of that is that it came from leather. So there was this like inherent joy and love that came distinctly from this memory, which was bigger than just the glove, but um, it started with leather. But you know, this was just a big, huge cow. Then I cut it into a strip and then I took brass hardware and hole punches. And now it's this thing that you get to live with for the next 50 years. You know, I mean, it's super rad. There's not much else out there that's as cool as this, uh, in my opinion. I mean, you know, like now look at it. It's just this super simple sculptural item that, interestingly enough, holds your pants up. Um, if you design something well enough, if you design something that's classic enough and you design something that's utterly utilitarian, it's, it's inherent value in the world is, it's, you know, it's, in, it's obvious, it's there. You don't have to worry about it. So hopefully, you know, if it's timeless enough, people won't get tired of it. Um, and I wanted it to be a full circle. So most of the things in the world, manufacturing and retail-oriented objects are created somewhere, taken somewhere else, and then never thought about again. And it's over. Um, so it's sort of a linear path, and I wanted to create a circular path. And by doing that, or by thinking about that initially, um, it sort of informed the decision for me to go forward with this business because in my opinion I could help solve the problem which is the inevitability of landfills filling up with all of our excess junk 